What's up? What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Fear of God Indigo Denim and we also got Tantang from Hype Talk. I'm excited to talk about these jeans right here. I got a lot to say. Y'all ready? Let's go! Alright Tan, so what makes this whole Fear of God thing kind of sought after right now, man? Man, I'm not gonna lie, man. They did it right. He did the whole campaign. He put it on the right artists. Yeah, you true. see Fear of God, especially the denim jeans on uh, people like Kanye, yep. uh, Big Sean, yep. Scott, uh, the Lord, <laughs> uh, yeah. and then uh, Justin Bieber. Justin and my mama don't like it. He does have it on a lot of influencers, which a lot of people are not really happy about. Sometimes the regular customers think they should be getting the products and then the influencers shouldn't be getting the products before them, but you know, that's just how it goes that's sometimes. How it goes, man. Overall, man, I feel like Fear of God is just like a representation of how fashion kind of looks like right now. If you go to a lot of Instagram pages, a lot of the clothing that you see kind of has that Fear of God aesthetic. I do feel like the brand has kind of set the standard for a lot of pieces as far as flannels, you know, uh, definitely Definitely bombers, uh, jeans and whatnot. So zipper pants. It's crazy because every time I post up my zipper pants with a jawstring, yeah, they H&M. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is without a doubt one of the most sought after pieces from the whole brand. Has to be these indigo denim right here. Crazy. A lot of people went crazy for these. They're back ordered, you know, pre-ordered. Haven't got them for months and whatnot. It took me a while to get them too. So let's talk about these. First and foremost, let's talk about the quality of these jeans. These are made out of Japanese selvage denim. And you know, Japan highly regarded to make the best selvage denim hence one of the reasons why they are 895 bucks retail price rich you got them now what do you think man like you said it has been a long time coming man even a couple months ago I bought a Fugazi pair man from eBay I didn't have had no idea man I even rocked them in a couple videos I just had a bad feeling about them man you cuz you know some fakes mm -hmm. they be smelling stinky so I ended up posting a photo on the fear of God uh, marketplace shout out to them on Facebook and everybody was commenting fake 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 it. and I was like, dang it. So I ended up um, getting those back to the seller and whatnot. And I got these from RSVP Gallery. Had to pay a little bit more. And I gotta say, man, they did not live up to the expectations. You know, there was a first batch that uh, Fear of God originally came out with, which was their first run of the Indigo Denim. They have a uh, little bit more distressing right here. And I would gotta say, man, the wash in those looks a little bit nicer. But you know, obviously this is very nice still and it is very difficult to duplicate a wash. And the distressing is actually handed. Yep. Um, a lot of people were saying in the first batch it was done by Jerry Lorenzo himself. And then in the second batch, it was done by a lot of interns. The distressing is not really what I have a problem with though. It is the different wash. I was kind of let down by the wash. Even in the back right here, it is a little bit like too light. It seems and, too white. Yeah, it seems a little bit too white. Kind of reminds me of like some Robin jeans or something. Like no disrespect to Fear of God, but they look a little similar to the mm -hmm. fake ones I had. Like the fake ones were really I was just gonna say. Like, Alright, Rich. Second most important thing about these jeans, I would have to say. I need you to explain the fit, man. How are the fit on these? The fit is not bad. You know, that's the one thing that Fear of God, I feel like, really has down pat is the fit of a lot of their mm -hmm. clothing pieces. And uh, with these ones, you know, they got that nice skinny taper right here, and then they are uh, zippered at the bottom, so you can make them a little bit, you know, wider if they are too skinny and whatnot. As far as fitting true to size, they do fit true to size in the waist area and the thigh, but I know a lot of people were complaining about this uh, calf area being mm -hmm. a little bit too tight, and I know what they mean, man. At one point, I was like, how am I even going <laughs> to... <laughs> they are skin, you know, I got kind of big calves and these were definitely bulging But after a little while they do end up stretching we were talking about I like this thigh area right here Because it has a little bit more of a cream uh, tone to it mm -hmm. and then towards the bottom It's a little bit too white. I know you're a big fan about the wash and you're pretty picky about it Understandable, but for me, I got to go with the distress man. Okay, okay. The distress is probably what sells me on the jeans I feel like they did a right job and a great job on mimicking the vintage look of a Levi pair of jeans That is true. You know Jerry's whole intent for this denim is to mimic, you know, the 90s Levi's vintage jeans. Kind of like the rockers and stuff, the yeah. blown out knee. A lot of people are saying the interns don't do a really good job on the mm -hmm. Fear of God jeans. I think it looks pretty dope. Especially in this crotch area right here, they have the distressing where it looks like it was ripped and then repaired. Yep. I think that's a pretty cool detail in it's these jeans. It's kind of like, uh, you know, these are 10 years worn yeah. and they just kind of fixed it for you. Like you on stage rocking out with, yeah. you know, the guitar and you doing a bunch of knee slides and whatnot. You got to look down with this. So with these jeans, man, you know, they're just trying to give across like a grunge type look. Other companies are trying to mimic this look right now. So we got to talk about cheaper alternatives that are out right now. Yeah, I walked into H&M about a couple 
months ago and I saw that they had a, a distressed, a blown out knee version and I guess it was a collaboration with the Coachella line. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they offered uh, a vintage like wash, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a lighter wash, but it had the blown out distressed yeah. knees. It has a little bit more rips to it. Yep. If you do go on eBay and you do search Fear of God Denim, those will show up, the Coachella H&M ones. I'm not sure if they have them in the stores right now still, but they are pretty cheap. I think they range for like 60 to 70 I think, bucks I think on retail is like 40 bucks. Yeah, so, so that that's not a bad right. play if you want, you know, an alternative and if you do like the rips a lot, those mm -hmm. have like too many rips in my opinion. Yeah. But we got to talk about the hyper denim. You know, hyper shout denim. out to Locust and Wild Honey. He talked about them on his channel. And uh, the hyper denim, they retail for $60. And what's really cool about the hyper denim is they actually have the same distressing locations on their denim as well. Oh, it's cool. right in the knees and then right in the thigh area. They do have the zipper, so for $60, I've seen him wearing them in the vlog, and I remember you were like, those do not look bad. At the end of the day, man, it's how they look and how they style them. And one more alternative, man, Tan, you got a pair mm. of these uh, from Represent Denim yep. right there. They don't have zippers on them, but they do have a similar wash. They do have the blown out knees. Talk about those. Yeah, talk about the Represent jeans. I know that the wash is on point. It has like the off-white cream uh -huh. to complement uh, the light wash of the jeans. But the distress, man, the stress, I'm really surprised on how well the distress is. Part one of my favorite jeans that I have because of the distress. And you know a lot of people, if you do like the zipper element, to the Fear of God jeans. If you do have a pair of jeans like the represent ones mm -hmm. that don't have the zipper pants, you can just buy these zippers at like Joann's Fabrics yeah. and whatnot. Take them to a tailor. They're gonna throw them on there if you explain what you want, man. Well, not these particular oh, yeah, zippers, not these ones right but uh, fashion zippers. Uh, these are actually Riri zippers that are pretty pricey. They're like twenty dollars a foot, I'm yeah. assuming. The, the Rihanna's, man. The yeah. Rihanna's. The Riri's they're, they're... right here, very highly sought after, expensive. Cr All right, guys, thank you for checking out that review on the Fear of God Indigo Denim. I didn't really see many videos on YouTube breaking down the Indigo Denim, so I just wanted to show you guys what it really looks like up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Talk about them. Uh, my overall pros to them got to be the distressing, the fit of them is on point, you know, the quality is definitely there, they are very thick denim. My cons, like we keep on mentioning, is got to be the wash, uh, price, and uh, you know, I had to wait a long time for these ones, so yeah. So there you guys have it, man, the Fear of God Indigo Denim. I'm not even sure I'm going to be keeping these, they're 31, so if you want them, hit me up. Serious offers though, please. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Alright guys, thank you for checking out that video, make sure you guys check out this video. Also check out this video, and I gotta shout out Fear of God Marketplace, man. That is a really great resource if you are ever looking for any information on Fear of God, if you're trying to buy, sell, trade. They got a lot of information, a lot of useful, helpful people on that group right so there, man. It's a great community over there. <laughs> it's great. Everybody's pretty friendly. I've yeah. been on some sneaker groups where everybody, <laughs> it kind of mean, but you know, the Fear of God Marketplace, they cool over there. They helped me with my other fake ones, you know, identifying yeah. that they were fake, and then they also helped me with these ones. Shout out to Justin. Um, he helped out with these, so that's pretty much it. The Indigo Fear of God Denim, please leave down in the comments below if you guys think you're going to cop a pair, if you're still looking for a pair, do you think they're overpriced, hype and whatnot, let me know. Shout out Tan Tang, shout out to his Instagram, check him out, he got a lot of fashion photos on there, some frugal fashion for the Lolo, if you guys want it, and that's pretty much it, and until next time, we out. Peace.